we have just reached Asakusa. One of the streets leads right up to the Sanzoji Shrine. Just tons of stuff here. I'm, I anticipate that we might spend the rest of the night here. Heading to the to the onsen later tonight because God knows that's what we need right now in this frigid weather. That's that's the street market. Is it? Yes. So we'll go to the market. No, we'll go to the shrine first. Mm. So as you can see, it's a very sprawling uh, shopping district. Very beautiful. Very traditional. So there are definitely a uh, rent a kimono, rent a yukata kind of uh, uh, facilities. So the, there are these quiet streets. There's a very rustic looking playground here. And this is what we really came to see. It's a little house. It's a, a traditional Japanese house. And we're headed straight, straight, straight towards the shrine. But on the way, you can't miss this out. It's very, very nice. It looks amazing. You can probably buy a yukata here. That is it. That is the shrine. You can't see it right now. Not too clearly. But that is the shrine. Right there. It's huge. It's crowded. Really, really beautiful. There it is. I think this is the entrance to the shrine. And the shrine is uh, further back down there. And it's colourful and it's very well maintained. It looks new. It looks like it's always been this way. We have just uh, gone up to the shrine and uh, visited the interior. It's a very ceremonial experience. Uh, so, right around the front here, so there are charm of variety for a variety of things good fortune, money, uh, happy family, wealth, relationships, uh, exams. Yeah, it's all very cute. And then we go up to the main temple, and there is uh, it's a that's a basic Japanese tradition of uh, of uh, pray prayer, which I'm not too familiar with. I didn't do it. And uh, to the side of the to the side of the shrine, we have a garden. On the side of the main temple. Hey, we're just gonna take a look. There's a lot of tourists here, especially. I believe Asakusa would be one of the more tur touristy locations. And I'm gonna take a look down into the deeper garden. It's the evening already, and we're in Asakusa, and we're having our dinner now. Steamed hot pot sukiyaki, pork shabu shabu, and a rice uh, bento. We are in this place called the Asakusa Bunka Hostel. We just came back from an onsen, which was a damn relaxing experience. We built up a huge appetite for it, and yeah, we definitely got enough uh, appetite for this meal now. So the food, uh, I've tasted the shabu shabu, is pretty good. The soup is nice. Uh, I can't complain about the sukiyaki yet because I haven't even tried it yet. This is an international hostel so they definitely have people speaking, uh, able to speak English. And that's nice. I really uh, like to practice my Japanese a little but there's a lot of miscommunication because my Japanese sucks, right? <laughs> this is a uh, day three or four. We'll consider our fourth day in Japan, so it's on a Saturday. We're heading to Akihabara to meet our people. We understand that the place is really huge, so we can we have a couple of Wi-Fi connections. We can split up and be back at the same place. Very excited. But it's raining. Raining like the first day. Breezing. Although not as bad. So I'm only wearing one flight today because it's not so cold. Let's get on the train. This is the one place that we've been dreaming of coming up, coming to uh, for the longest time. 
Here we are in uh, SoftMap. It's a multi-level department store for anime, cosplay, tech, and uh, hobby figurines. So the first floor is all the new games, and I, there's not, there doesn't seem to be anything here that we can't already get in Malaysia. And uh, second floor here are all the DVDs and idol CDs, mostly shows and uh, videos. Tons and tons of manga. What you have to do is you have to take a ticket, fit Apocrypha Blu-ray disc box set 1 here, and you go to the counter and they'll give it to you. It's for security reasons. All the new mangas are in the front, the rest of it are at the back. We're in third floor. This is uh, anime action figure heaven. Similar to all the others. Uh, you store your goods elsewhere, take a ticket, buy it. Lots of uh, Full Metal Alchemist, Sayuki, these are the Kotobukiya uh, figurines. Wolf Children. This entire rack is dedicated to Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, which is... Holy shit! <laughs> this is a majestic Sakura figure, the stars bless you. A figure and I do watch Skycap Sakura, I'm not that big of a fan and thankfully so because this is sold out and I have no money. Kamen Rider, uh, One Piece, Star Wars, Saint Seiya and over here is uh, Gunpla's uh, Heaven. We have uh, perfect grades of every type and we have model kits of every type the accessories, trading cards, card sleeves, the hobby paints uh, for Gunpla for Gun Plus and as well as the hobby tools for Gun Plus and plastic models in general. So we are upstairs on the fourth floor and I wouldn't like to show you too much of this floor because it's I don't, because it's not really Acceptable. So we are on the fifth floor, and this is the floor that most of us have been anticipating. I'm only here for the toilet. In the electric town now, waiting for our Yaro ramen. In case you don't know what Yaro means, Yaro means bust bastards in Japanese. It served extremely huge portions of the ramen. It's supposed to be heaping huge. So this shop has two levels. Downstairs is a bar. Uh, here you have bar seats as well, but we have uh, two tables which we have thankfully gotten because we come here early, it's only about 11 o'clock and the place is still quite empty and very relaxing. Here is the Mega Buta Yaro Ramen, which means Mega Pork Bastard Ramen. <laughs> Look at that, it's gigantic. They add a lot of bean sprouts to it, which gives a lot of veggie, which is not common in ramen. It's, it has everything. It's just so overwhelming. We've had three ramen in Japan so far. This is by far the meatiest, oh, punchiest, richest flavor. The portions of the of the pork are pretty generous. I think there's as much bean sprouts as there is noodles. So probably gonna get very full. If you ever come to Akihabara, you should get this one. So we have entered uh, another building in Akihabara. It's uh, this place is it's a shop on the seventh floor and 8th floor of this complex, it's called Yellow Submarine Hobby Base. And this is a card shop, it looks like a very crowded card shop. And Alex is here, he's buying his uh, Vanguard core uh, set, as well as uh, there are a lot of card accessories. It's very typical of a card shop, they have singles, uh, boosters, the core sets, base decks, pre of every sort. 
So they also have magic. Apparently magic is really huge here. It's just as big as Yu-Gi-Oh and Vanguard. I did not expect that. Especially the Japanese uh, magic cards. Crowded as heck. Everyone is playing magic. I'm not a magic fan myself, but it will be interesting if I was. So the Yellow Submarine has a second level on the 8th level and uh, immediately after going in, it's called the R Yellow Submarine RPG Shop for a good reason. Those of RPG books here and a lot of Euro games, card games, board games, D&D, &D, American versions. Miniatures of all kinds, they have Warhammer here as well. And uh, the Warhammer here is also in English. I don't think they have Japanese versions. I see something that I want, which is exactly this. Android Netrunner, the Japanese version. It's very lively here. It's a very nice environment. They have board games to let here. And loose dice. They look pretty pricey for each one though. Not sure if I'm interested in getting any. There are a ton of uh, game accessories here. I've gotten uh, my own souvenirs, World Championship decks for runners and uh, for runners and the corporation for my favorite card game, that runner. We've left the Yellow Submarine and we've just gone next door to the Akiba Cultural Theater. It's a shop uh, with well, more of the same, tons and tons of figurines. Uh, but as you can see here, there are some American figurines uh, that the other shops didn't have. Yeah, this is uh, more complete and this is a much busier shop. And yes, yet again, Alex has seen something else that he wants. My name is Tati at Cut Kingdom in Akihabara. And uh, because I drew a very good fortune yesterday at the Sensoji Shrine, so I believe that it will bless us today here at Cut Kingdom. He has bought 10 of these and I'm going to bless them before my luck. So we bless this Holy Father or whatever, Holy Father of Vanguard, God of Dragons. Useless. Useless. I've seen all these cards before. Useless. Also seen this one before. Like yeah, common cards are just Also seen this one before. What do you make of this card? Useless. Useless. Yes, useless. Totally useless. Let's go. Last one. Slightly useful. <gasps> yes. I, I don't know what that means. Triple. Uh, highest rarity of all. I see. So you can see the rarity of the cards on the bottom. So triple R means. Apparently means great. Great. Yeah, I drew one triple R. Nice. So, okay, I'm gonna set this aside, and this is gonna be a slightly long video. Second one. Bless them. God of Dragons, God of Order and Chaos, Hentai Yaru. Apparently, this is rubbish because it's R. Oh, this is good. This is a. This is alright, it's a double R. Double R is good. Yes. Yeah, doing well, Richard. Move on. So, uh, sorry about today. Today we were at Akihabara, and because of the rain, I wasn't. It wasn't easy for me to bring out my camera too often. But uh, we made it through most of the day. The good news is that we're probably going to head back to Akihabara because there's way too many things that that's there to see. So on our way back to our house, uh, Alex is here with me. We we got lost. <laughs> Even though we've been walking home the same way. Yeah. Okay, we are exploring. Now we discovered this uh, taco bar and we decided to get some takoyaki to try. Uh, last, uh, yesterday, Alex, uh, Daniel, and uh, Penguin tried some takoyaki in uh, Sensoji Shrine and it was really disappointing. We're going to try some now. It looks awesome because uh, the chef allowed us to film. Hey, arigato! 22nd of October, we only mess and me are here and uh, my initial plan was to go to a bar, a jazz bar downstairs here in Shibuya called The Room to watch a performance uh, by uh, an artist I've been following for a very long time. Fortunately due to the typhoon, they decided to cancel 
the performance. So we are a little bummed right now. But on the plus side, we have found a nice sushi bar. It's just a quiet bar. Our sushi has arrived. But we're gonna dig into it and we'll let you know how it is later. Bye. So we just came to Starbucks, just sitting, chilling, whiling a bit of time. We're from the second floor of the Starbucks in Central Shibuya. And here is a crossing we've seen so many times in all the movies. Uh, Shibuya crossing. And it's a very cliche view as well because everyone has their umbrellas out, it's rainy. It feels literally like the Resident Evil movie. What? Yeah, in Resident Evil, one of the Resident Evil movies that there was a there was a girl crossing the street in Shibuya. And she got bitten by a zombie, and then there was a huge outbreak here, and then things started going to going shit. So don't ask me how I know so much about Resident Evil movies. I don't even know I watch them. How would you rate this night? How many shits out of shits? Tomorrow is our trip out to Tokyo and I think if the rain keeps up like this we might have to miss it. We'll have to find other ways to entertain ourselves. Uh, we'll probably opt for some indoor entertainment tomorrow. Morning, this is uh, Monday, the second week of our trip and we're supposed to go to Okutama slash Omi today to see the countryside but the train lines going out of Tokyo into the countryside have all been disrupted so now we just decided to go out to uh, have breakfast because all the train lines today are compromised especially the Omei line which is completely stopped so our host was gracious enough for us to uh, check in a day later we'll spend today catching up on the sites that we missed uh, due to the horrible weather conditions because the weather today in Tokyo is lovely Sunny is the first time I've seen sun in a week here. Then we started a Monday off in Hoshino called Hand Drip Coffee in Shibuya. And this is, uh, what is this? Cafe Latte? Cafe Latte. Yes. And he has been once ordered and he has gotten the uh, pork katsu sandwich, which looks amazing. Looks crispy to perfection. And this is a very fancy cafe. Mess, being the coffee expert here, what do you think of the coffee? It's not bad. How good is it compared to any other katsu sandwich you've eaten before? The best by far. Oh, yes. It's very good. Mm -hmm. nice. Looks like looks like we are staying here for a little while longer and we're gonna ignore the beef steak place that is upstairs and yeah we're gonna order one more of this here we are halfway down the path towards the Meiji shrine there you have a bunch of sake barrels uh, wrapped in straw they just um, age the sake in these casks and on the other side you have a bunch of French wine which uh, apparently are uh, tokens of goodwill from foreign nations especially France where they keep it here but I can't stress how amazing the weather is it's perfect weather cloudless skies and uh, cool breeze perfect man so those are the lanterns which will light up at night there is the main shrine's um, art. So you've passed through the main arch and here's a little bit of uh, peripheral information about chrysanthemum flowers and apparently this I didn't know chrysanthemum plants are very high maintenance they require a lot of water so they require to be watered for twice a day one in the morning one in the evening which is very interesting so it seems like they're going to have a festival here quite soon Meiji Jingu Festival. Yeah, these flowers look amazing. They look very, very well taken care of. No. Mess is going to deflower. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> Mess is excited about uh, buying more charms from here. In the middle of the uh, forest. Way better than Sensoji Shrine. I, I don't recommend Sensoji Shrine. It's kind of touristy. It's over touristy. 
good, man. It's good. I really like it. Okay. We are inside the shrine proper. Some renovations are being done to the left shrine. The main shrine as well. Not as crowded as I would have anticipated. And the nice thing about this place is that there are absolutely no shops except for the shrines uh, charm store next to the shrine. That's to be expected. Wall of uh, fortunes and uh, tablets. I think you have to pay to get one of these. But I'm thinking of if I should do it. Tablets. Very quiet place. 